Hi, this is Derek from LiveWatch. Today we have the first Seiko Turtle build featured on this channel. This is actually my personal watch. I'm always a big fan of Sea Turtle. I'm not sure what a Seiko Turtle referring to, but it's either Turtle or Sea Turtle. Uh, in this case, I believe it's a Sea Turtle. So here I have some parts collected over the time that include the genuine Seiko Turtle case you just saw and this very gorgeous Lucius Atelier Seigai Ha dial. This dial is featured deep blue high gloss enamel finish and 100% Swiss Super Luminova BGW9. It's pretty cool. I will show Loom Shop in the very end of this video. Now you are looking at the Crystal Times CT072 double dome sapphire crystal with blue AR coating and sea turtle laser etching. After I saw this crystal, I bought it right away. And right after I bought it, the option went away. There's no laser sea turtle etching option anymore. I think I got the last one. I'm very happy about it. After examining all the parts, it's time to assemble this watch. In this step, I will install the chapter ring, the crystal gasket, and the crystal. Now I'm using a crystal press to press down the crystal. This step has to be very careful because it's a double dome sapphire crystal. So there is not a flat surface you can reference to. In this step, I will check multiple times the left and right and front and back. The crystal edge have to be even. Pressing crystal in, you need to take baby steps. You need to press a little, turn the case, press a little and turn the case and always check for the level. After you turn and press multiple times, you will feel the crystal will not go any further. And then also check for level again to see if it's leveled and the job is done. In this step, I will install the crown, case back gasket, case back, and then do a wet waterproof test. This is the case back and gasket, which left over from my original SKX, the great weight of Kanagawa dial build. I'm using a speed lubrication to lube the case back gasket. This is my wet water pressure tester. So how this thing work is I will hook the watch on the hook up there and then pressure the vessel up to five atmosphere. That's equal to 50 meters of water resistance. For 10 minutes, if there is a leak, 
the air will have a chance to leak into the watch case and balance the pressure. After I dump the watch beneath the water, I will slowly release the pressure if there is a tiny steady stream of bubble coming out of the watch case means the water seal is totaled. We are only seeing few bigger bubble coming out. Those are considered normal because there is always air gap track beneath the mechanism or in the spring bar or in some hole in the case. So that's fine. We didn't see any steady bubble coming out. So it passed the water test. In this step, I will prepare the movement. I will swap the movement spacer from a gray one to a black one. I will explain why later. Also, we will install the dial and the hands. So you're probably wondering why I go through all the trouble to change the gray to the black. It's just not only the color difference, the dimension is different as well. As you can see, the gray one is much thinner than the black one. But not all the black ones are the same thickness. For example, uh, if the SKX and another model of the Seiko watch, both of them might be black, but the dimension will be different. So my recommendation will be just use the spacer from the watch. If you don't know what the, your watch come with, there's a lots of places you can look up for these information, for example, forums or Facebook, or even a service manual. So why don't mismatch uh, the spacers? Because if you use a thicker spacer than it designed with, then your case bag would not seal properly, it means your watch will not be waterproof. If you use a spacer thinner than it designed, the movement might rattle around inside the case and then might bend or break the stem. Because every Lucius Italia dial comes with four dial pins to accommodate three o'clock and four o'clock date window position. So I'm using a marker to mark out what dial pin I want to keep and cut out the others. When you are installing a dial, make sure you are very careful because the dial pin are very fragile and soft. If you bend it, it might just break off. And after we install the dial, I will also install the hands. Now I'm adjusting the hands to let the date window to snap over that indicated midnight. Using my own design 3D printed watch hand press, I installed three watch hands. If you're interested in this press, there will be a link to download this file so you can print one at home.
After the dial and hands are installed, now it's time to marry the movement to the watch case. Before we can case the watch, we still need to trim the stem and crown. If you bought an aftermarket crown and stem assembly, normally you will get this kind of two-piece untrimmed stem. If I don't have an OEM crown and stem assembly to use it as a reference, I will just attach the whole thing untrimmed and install it on the watch to see what's the difference I need to trim down. As you can see, it's quite a lot. I'm using a caliber here to measure it's 5.81 millimeter I need to trim down. I will always cut a little bit more than the dimension we need and use a diamond file to file it down to the correct dimensions. After I'm satisfied with the crown and stem fitting, I will use Loctite 242 to glue down the crown and stem. Also using the speed lubrication to loop the crown o-ring. And I will also put a little bit of Mobius 9501 breaking grease on the stem to lubricate the keyless work. Before I case the watch, I will use the radical to clean the watch. Uh, even nobody will see this anymore, I still want to clean it because my OCD wants me to clean it. The watch has been cased, now we just need to finish the bezel and the bezel insert.
I have to say this project has been very interesting and because I always wanted the turtle watch and also I'm a big fan of a sea turtle again so I really enjoy about this um, turtle watch as you can see it's like a little sea turtle swimming above the the blue sea it looks just gorgeous and this whole whole case um, I really like it because I don't have a turtle watch before I also really like the fit and finish about this sapphire crystal and bezel insert it's almost seamless uh, crystal times part has been very high quality so far uh, by the way I purchased these parts by myself it's not a sponsored video Okay, this will be it for today. I hope you found this video very educational and entertaining. This has been Derek from LiveWatch. I see you next time. Bye.